Hey guys, it's Colleen. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Jay. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Should I apologise that I've been off for 12 months? Yeah, where have you been? What have you been up to the last 12 months? Hanging with you. <laughs> Shit. Hey guys, it's Colleen here and this is my boyfriend Jay. And today we're going to talk about technology, robots and personalised medicine. What about you? Oh, I'm into cars and VR sets. So I would love a robot in my house to help me out with the cleaning and just cooking. Like, imagine if I had a robot and I was making a curry, for example, and I forgot all the ingredients, or I forgot the order of which to put the ingredients in. To get in. the robot to go to the shops for you. The shops. And then tell me, step two, Colleen, is put in the cinnamon flakes or whatever. You know? It'd yeah. be so helpful. It'd be pretty cool. They were kind of starting up with these um, thermo mixers. Everyone's getting onto the thermo mm. mixers. Mm. Well, Apparently, it does some pretty cool things. It connects to the internet. Yes, and, and um, you were saying you could time you it. Download. Um, you can actually order the recipe. Uh, Is it? No, no, you can't order the recipe. You can uh, download recipes to the mixer itself. I thought that you said something about you could be in the car and like set it on and make that's it go. Right. Yeah, that's right. She was yeah. saying that. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be funny. <laughs> Why do you think VR set is going to be part of the future? At this day and age people have some lives that they probably want to sometimes escape from and I think the virtual reality is a perfect platform for that. In the gaming oh, industry? Gaming, entertainment, movies. So I get on all these YouTube um, 360 degree simulations of like roller coasters or in, you're in different countries and, and then you just look around. What, what I like about that is using it for real life kind of simulation. Say we were going to build a house mm. and I am arguing with you yeah. about the size of the bathroom or our bedroom or something. Mm. I would love you to be able to wear one and then me and we're like we're walking through the house and we can see it like I could be pushing things and being like no this vanity should go here or whatever oh, I like that imagine having that like you know Google Maps where you know you can kind of you know go anywhere around the world and then place yourself there and look around you wouldn't even have to travel anymore you could what you just go boop and then be in Japan put in Japan put your headset on look around you know it could be in New York see Times Square it'd be pretty amazing so it's kind of like you are a portal well, it is a portal. Yeah, it's like um, being like teleporting, but you're not. I think in the future it would be amazing if you're really unwell and you went to the doctor and they said to you, "Okay, Colleen, you've got you know you're sleep deprived, low on vitamin C, and you need more iron." And then they just handed over this one tiny pill, and only one, one small dosage, and I could take it and it would just cure me. Like personalized medicine, technology could just. You know, mush it all into one tiny film for me. <laughs> I'd really appreciate that. It's a one stop shop. Yeah, you know? well, I mean, like. But you'd put doctors out of arm. Um, well, no, because you'd still have to have a license to dispense it. One thing I like, mm -hmm. if you think about in the near future, hopefully we can get driverless cars because it'd be pretty handy. Mm. You know, out with the boys, having a bit of session, and then uh, <laughs> click of a button, an app on your phone, and your phone, ca your car comes around, mm. picks you up, takes you home. But well, do you ever freak out that like it would just crash and malfunction, and then you've had this massive pile up in the back? <laughs> You're probably going to be safer. In my well, they already have the planes to drive them, drive themselves, so mm. you know they have uh, they already have the technology. And it also means that if you can't afford a car, it doesn't mean you can't drive, because you could share a driverless car between like five people. Because if you're not really needing it all day, right? That's right. You could drop me yeah. off, it could drop you off to work. Yeah. Come back, get me, drop me off. Yeah. Go to meetings for me, go back and pick you up. Yeah, well, I did read somewhere that Dubai is a country that is going to try and adopt it um, very early and they're going to, 2020, they were going to implement at least 20% of the cars uh, as driverless. Do you reckon they'll implement rules around like not leaving children under 10 in the car? Because like, yeah. imagine you wouldn't even need a nanny. I mean, you still wouldn't need a nanny, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, they were talking about like, they're going to put them in like Uber cars first. So I think it's going to be slowly brought into, you know, into the world. Yeah, it will change the way that we look at cars forever. Thanks for joining us and thank you, Jay, for being my special anytime, guest. Anytime, anytime. I hope you'll be on here next week or the week Ooh, after. Maybe. Maybe. And is that talking like me? I don't know why I'm doing this. Thanks, guys. See Catch ya. you next time. Bye. Bye. Check, 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 check.